Hi my loves and welcome back to the back spot. Today we're going to be testing out the new Kim Kardashian Beauty Matte Eyeshadow Cocoa Palette and the new Matte Lipsticks 90s Glam and 90s Chic Lip Liner. So if you want to continue on watching to watch this is it worth it review and kind of a slightly easy makeup cut crease look to do then keep on watching so not everyone is convinced with the kkw beauty brand i am not myself so i've only kind of tried one or two products here or there but this is kind of my first really in-depth review on them so i hope you guys enjoy this and let's get straight into the look so to start off with, we're going to start with the eyeshadow palette. Now this is the eyeshadow palette by KKW Beauty. Um, its net worth is 10 times 6 Oz, so it's 170 grams. It's made in the USA and it's a matte eyeshadow palette. So all of the shades in here are all matte um, and they're just super friendly for a brown smoky matte eye. So this is the palette here. Now the shades, they don't actually have any shade names on the palette but it's behind on here. So the shades go from Cream, Desert, Tawny, Sienna, Bourbon, Sandstone, Honey, Bamboo, Cocoa and Wood. So these are all super matte and I just really love the packaging of this palette. I think it's really, really nice and very simple, but it's just so, it looks luxurious. So I think she's really nailed it in that aspect. Um, but the matte shades do look very basic to me. So let's do a little swatch test and see what they're like. But to me, they just look very, very basic and I don't know, a bit boring, like I'm so over this colour, but I just want to see how it performs. I feel like I always see KKW Beauty and I never purchase it, but this time this one actually interested me. Um, this range of hers, I was actually quite interested because of the way it looks. And I'm going to recreate the look of the MAC Coco that she has, so I'll show you guys a picture as well for that. But let's go in with the swatches and I'm going to swatch all of the shades now on my head. I like swatching just so we can get... So the first shade is cream. Next shade is desert. Tawny. This looks like a really nice matte brown. That looks pretty similar to the one I just swatched as well. And then we have the shade Sienna. So this is the shade Sienna. Now the last shade for that particular row, the first row, is the shade Bourbon. Okay, that's very, very deep. I like that. I think that would make a really nice intense uh, smoky eye or a cut crease. So, I mean, these are blending really, really nicely on the hand. Now I'm going to use my other hand for the other side. And we're going to go in with the second row. The shades Sandstone, which is like a cream colour. So let's do that. Um, and then the next shade is Honey. So this is the shade Honey. The next shade is Bamboo. So this is like a very cool undertone brown, I would say. And these are like very nice if you just want a soft transition color. Then the next color is Cocoa. I mean, usually I don't like to swatch on my hand because I like to see how it reacts on their face. Um, but this is just a good indication to see how everything is looking. And then we have the last shade, which is wood. This is super deep. Like, I... Wow. Look how deep that is. Wow. That is a super deep brown. I love my brown smoky eyes, so... Um, I think I'm going to enjoy this palette. Let me wipe my hand and then we can go in and create the look and I'm going to show you guys a picture as well of what we're creating today. This is the image that I was talking about. So she's got a very soft like muted cut 
crease and it just looks really really nice and something that I would wear personally and she has eyeliner on as well now I didn't purchase the eyeliner but I have some of the products so we're gonna make it work regardless but let's zoom you guys in and now we're going to start the little tutorial Kylie Cosmetics blending brush it's one of uh, one of the ones that I actually just picked up which is kind of fitting <laughs> Now, this look more is like a warm, cool look, but I'm going to incorporate some warm looks to just kind of suit my own skin tone as well. Um, but I want to go in with that first shade, Tawny. That actually blends really nicely. It's very soft, but I feel like you do need to work with it still. Um, there is a blendability to it, but it's not like the Jeffree Star one I just recently reviewed where everything goes on so smoothly, but it's still really easy to work with. Um, so that's really good. Now I am going to blend this out for quite some time because I want it to be super seamless. This tawny shade is actually a really nice um, cut crease shade. Sorry, a transition crease shade. Very extreme amounts of fallout at the moment. And I'm going to pick up the next shade. And this is the shade Sienna. Wow, that is so rich. But it's so pretty. There is no fallout, which I'm really, really enjoying. Because usually with brown smoky shadows, there is... A tendency for it to fall out. This is my Sigma brush and just blending them together because I feel like there's a slight patchy element to these shadows so you just need a softer fluffier brush. And I'm going to grab that super deep shade wood which is this one here. Now this is super super deep so I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit and intensify my crease because we're going to cut it. Pasos te cuento hasta diez y ven Yo sé que tú quieres Sé que tú quieres conmigo Amor de todos esos plazos I'm so shocked at how there's no fallout This is pretty impressive, Kim What I can say is that you have to be really careful with the way you're blending Because one wrong move and it does look slightly patchy So you do need to take into consideration that but it does take time to blend these out. So I am going to cut my crease today and I'm using the Cover FX Cream Concealer. Now I just want to do underneath my eyes and I'm using that same small flat shade of brush and I'm going to add this first shade we use Sienna underneath our eyes. I can't believe there's no fallout on such a dark shade. I'm actually so impressed. I'm going to grab up the really creamy first shade cream and I'm going to buff that Sorry, lay that down onto my entire mobile lid. And this is very creamy but not chalky, so I'm really impressed with that as well. I'm going to grab the shade wood and also just kind of wing it out with that. Now I am going to add the swerve liner into my waterline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 
Um, and I'm going to be using the Kiss uh, Blowout Lash in the uh, style Pixie. Okay, so we're just going to finish off with the lips and we're going to be using the KKW Beauty 90s Glam, um, 90s Glam Lipstick and 90s Chic Lip Liner. Let's see how this is going to go. I'm really fussy when it comes to liners and lips, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> It is a really nice nude shade, but without the lip liner, it's looking a little like pasty and too like pasty. So I like it, but I'm not obsessed with it. I think I've had better glosses and better lipsticks than this. I think if you're a lot lighter, you will like this lipstick. It's just on a tad bit on that too pink colour. Without shipping and our taxes, it's just way too expensive to buy a Kim Kardashian <laughs> lipstick. Like, I don't want to even know how much I really spent on this after tax. So, my final thoughts on this look. I'm really obsessed with the matte cocoa palette. I think I just created the best eye makeups I've ever done in my life. The lipstick is a bit of a miss for me. I don't really like the texture to it, but the lip liner is really smooth and creamy, so I really do like the lip liner. And I love the eyeshadow like colors and how nice they blend they're really really good get 10 shades in this palette so I do think it's very versatile and if you don't like shimmery eyeshadows you're gonna love this palette I wouldn't say this is a homage to 90s glam um, I think maybe maybe her other palette is more like a homage to 90s but this is just a simple brown matte eyeshadow palette I would say but the shades are really well formulated and they do really blend out really really nice so if you're looking for something from KKW Beauty, I'd probably buy the palette, not so much the lipsticks. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video slash tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.